Hey legends, it's your boy Daniel here, back with another video, back in the business. And oh boy, I'm gonna tell you what a week is ahead of us. For those of you who didn't see my post on Instagram where I shared with you earnings report for this week, which begins today with companies such as Tesla and our tattooed chef. Then we are moving on to Tuesday when we can expect earnings from mega caps such as Microsoft, Apple, Google, Starbucks. On Wednesday we've got Spotify, we've got PayPal, we've got Facebook, Boeing. On Thursday we got Vertex, we got Upwork, Amazon or BioRed. This is going to be a one hell of a week. Week. And let's talk about it. So Tesla is reporting aftermarket hours. Tatuchev is also reporting aftermarket hours. And when we look at the Nasdaq, today I bought some position in Nasdaq. You can see it live here. We are up 3%. Just a little position. I mean, around 1% of the portfolio went to the Nasdaq. And uh, Nasdaq is pretty much flat today, like on actually on zero. It was really important to know. This is for all of you traders out there. When we look at the top 10 Nasdaq positions, we can see Apple is number one with 11%, 11% of whole Nasdaq. Second is Microsoft with 10, and then we got Tesla on seventh place with 3%. So, you know, mm, the most important day for actually Nasdaq will be Tuesday. It will be Tuesday and yeah, definitely Tuesday. I mean, Microsoft, Apple, Google, Starbucks is like top one, top two, top four, top six from the whole Nasdaq. I mean, Tuesday is going to be a bumpy ride, but you know, let's take a look at the expectations. So when we look at the Apple expectations, I mean, the e estimated EPS is the same one as in the Q1. And I believe that Apple is going to beat it again heavily. When we take a quick look at Microsoft, Again, almost the same expectation as a, Q, as a Q1 and I believe again we're gonna beat it. And why do I believe we're gonna beat it? I'm bullish for Q2. I mean, I was kind of skeptical about it, you know, that um, a game is like Q2 earnings, like holy crap, like there is no much space to grow for Nasdaq. But when you take a look at the problem from other perspective, Q2 earnings will be massively good for almost all the companies. You have to understand that the Q2 earnings, let's say, started in April. It's April, it's May, it's June, and it's July. Obviously, for some companies, it's even August, but uh, it's for those who started, who reported Q1 a little bit late. But uh, what I want to say by this is look at these months. Those were one of the best months we've had. I mean, no, I'm not talking about the stock market, I'm talking about the real life. I mean, vaccination was massive in almost every country and it's gonna continue summer season started we're like two months in summer and some countries there was so hot like from even from may so that's a big part you know massive reopenings i see it everywhere i'm working in corporate company with cars and i see the extreme high demand for working power especially now in these months in these like one or two in june and july there is absolutely enormous demand for workers for parts for everything so expect that q2 earnings will be very good because of massive spending of people because of reopenings and expect it to be good because the forecast for q3 will be also good because q3 what we, what is q3 what, which months are q3 July, August, September or August, September, October and that's still a summer season, reopening season, vaccination season, like let's call it this season, but you know what I mean. So yeah, like everyone's talking about the crash, upcoming crash and stuff like that. I mean, yeah, we've had, we have uh, available, we have a lot of available cash in our investing group, but if there would be any sort of crash, I would expect it to well well there are actually like two scenarios scenario number one there's gonna be extremely bad news from cpi data or like fucking world war three or some shit like that with china because when we look at the china ladies and gentlemen what is this of course this is just a contract and it's gonna expire on july 29 so for all of you who are investing in indices on etero there are some indices such as china which is like monthly contract and it's <clears throat> it's always expiring every month yeah so it's dropping of course there is a lot of other things why it's dropping such as the problems with the us and all other stuff but it's for whole another new video for example i uh, opened two positions today in hong kong market which i believe is 
Yeah, well, this one is um, this is really interesting. Hong Kong market is very interesting market to be honest. Of course, China is the second largest economy in the world, but Hong Kong market when Americans have problems with Asians, that's usually with China. And Hong Kong as an independent country have not that bad relationship with the U.S. and drop almost three percent. Uh, is mainly caused by because of the China, because people are getting scared and jumping out of the positions. And look at the Baba position, minus six percent today. I mean, I'm gonna buy Baba today. I mean, Baba under 200 is a fucking bargain price. You know what? Let's buy it live. Let's buy this shit live. We're gonna just add a little bit. At least now you can see how do I buy the how we can buy the positions on Etoro. You do not know. I usually. Uh, do not put take profit or stop loss. Well, I do put stop loss if it's a trade, but BABA is forming a long term hold. I know there's not gonna be jump by 20% tomorrow, but fucking BABA under 200, that's mental. When we look at the Amazon, 3,700 bucks. Come on, man. I mean, by the way, Charlie Munger bought BABA in last quarter. You can actually check it up right here on dataroma.com. When you click here on Super Investors, You've got here many of the popular investors that you might know, such as Buffett, Bill Ackman, or Michael Burry, or Charlie Munger. When we look at the Charlie Munger, you can see he bought Baba with 17% of his portfolio, which is for $37 million. And that actually says something. I mean, but this is insane. <laughs> Baba for under 200, that's a dream come true, to be honest. Then I saw their companies like, like Nedis, also under 100, it's all, also crazy what's happening right now. Then what, what was the company? GoTo? Yeah, yeah, GoTo, ticker symbol GoTo, look at that, minus 21% today and uh, you know on friday it was actually minus 60 percent today i have read some article and the price just dropped by 98 percent the owner of the company was a billionaire he was a chinese teacher normal regular chinese teacher and uh, damn i mean two days and bro all the money are gone that's something uh so yeah um i'm still patient you know today i've just i have sold today some positions that's that's pretty interesting. I have sold today some positions such as the Ubisoft. By the way, I was buying it. Uh, as you can see, I sold it. But I was buying it... Uh, where it was? I bought it actually here. Uh, in this drop. Like Then I sold it like around here. And then I just short it. And the same thing I did with Nell. Nell Asa. I just shorted it today. And I bought a little bit of ABB. Which got my attention. I'm We as a company, we are working with ABB, well actually for ABB, and the informations, you know, they are not bad, the insiders are normal, and on your place I would consider also this position, I mean, yes, you can see like, it's all time high, and what, I bought it today at all time high, and yeah, with 250, because I am waiting for a little correction, and then I can just move heavily on the position, but then, um, yeah, I believe that's all, we did go through <laughs> many stuff, not even earnings, but many stuff, Stuff. You, I hope you learned something new today. And by the way, crypto, I almost forgot about crypto, but that's again for a whole another new video. What a what a surprise today morning. I mean, when I saw this, I was like, well, what? And then I did check the charts. By the way, since May, we are above 50-day moving average. And look at that. Look at this position right here. This is, for example, Ether. Look at look at the support right here. What I believe is that when most of the investors seen this candle, how it just touched the support and it created this uh, strong support of one, two, three, four times touched support, and we hold it. I mean, these moments. You know, traders are like, oh, well, maybe the crypto isn't that bad. Maybe crypto is a little bit more safer than we expected. And when we got the support right here, like we can start buying because we know even when shit happens, we have either this support. And of course, it's also boosted by, by the fact that Tesla is reporting earnings today. And as we know, Musk, uh, which had his uh, press uh, lately about Bitcoin, there was a, there was a Kathy Wood, Elon and uh, the founder of uh, Square and Twitter, Jack Dorsey, and they've been talking about it. And Musk said that uh, he believes that uh, Tesla will accept Bitcoin in the future. And today we've got earnings. 
which means we we're gonna get a forecast, which means Musk can say that he's accepting Bitcoin again. But I mean, that would be so fast. We didn't get data from the US miners and etc. But you never know. And I think the price is mainly driven on the fact that yeah, Tesla is uh, reporting earnings. So what I would do right here, I would wait for tomorrow and the confirmation, like we're gonna get data from Tesla, you know, some something about Tesla and Bitcoin, like, uh, well, actually, they have to be in loss, but uh, maybe we get some forecast, like they're gonna accept Bitcoin again. And then I would consider buying the crypto because anyway, I wanted to jump on the crypto train by end of the summer, but I expected I would start buying in mid August or late August. But you know, this is starting to look juicy. I'm not talking about the price, etc. I'm talking about the supports. The supports are fucking strong, and that's what it. Well, that's what's important guys yeah so it's been awful today's video um, we haven't heard each other for a long time <laughs> i know i know i know but uh, there was a lot of guys there was a lot of stuff that i just had to deal with and uh, i can promise you that i'm gonna be more active with this promise i would wrap this video i hope you enjoyed it i hope you learned something new if you were happy that i'm back smash the like button leave down the comment yeah see you on wednesday guys peace